Hi guys, Jordan O'Neill here, uh, Wheel Castle Decorating. Um, so I'm basically on a, an outside job here. Um, it's a it's a large five bedroom detached house, and I've done this job a few times. You know, um, I'm basically up on a wee porch roof here, and um, as I say, I'm very familiar with this job. You know. Um, but again, where I'm working here, you do need to be very careful. Um, you know, the minute the way things are, it's outside work is ideal, you know. I'm on my own, no one near me, you know, and uh, and the weather's fantastic, you know, really is good weather. Um, so this outside, it, it does have a, you can see in the background here, it does have a, a rough cast um, uh, finish, you know, and... I'm not touching it. Now I done this outside about five years ago, and the cream it's still pretty fresh to be honest with you. And I always go back to what I say, you know, um, especially exterior work. See when you do the job right and the preparation's done, you know, when you go back to the same job, three, four, five years, whatever it may be, uh, the job is a lot easier to do, you know. I've seen me going to jobs for the first time, exterior jobs, and they're an, an absolute mess, you know the. The cells need to be all burnt back, you know, sealed, undercoated, glossed. Uh, you know, the rough cast, all the masonry, all breaking away from the walls, all need to be all scraped off and sealed. You know, uh, there can't be a lot of work involved, you know. But this one here is a nice job. I'll be on this probably two to three weeks. Uh, I said, it's a big job, but I'm doing all the facey boards, soffits, uh, all the down pipes, all the cells. Now the last time I done this job, all the cells uh, I did strip back, and uh, they I, I'm not just they were done they were done five years ago, and the only one that I've checked them all that there's a bit of paint flaking off is the front bay window on the ground floor, but apart from that the rest of the cells are all solid. All they need a, a, a light sand and an undercoat and a gloss. But I'm up in this wee roof here at the minute, and I uh, just want to get this out of the way. There's a wee peak on it here as well. And I really don't have much room to work, to be honest with you. Uh, so what I'm using is, so all the facey soffits, down pipes are all going uh, dark brown gloss. So I'm using, uh, at the minute I'm using crown oil based charcoal grey undercoat. And all, all it basically needs is a, a, is a, a any of the loose, effort, there's not a lot of loose paint. A, a scrape down, a sand and an undercoat and a gloss. That's all this job really needs. And uh, so, you know, I started it yesterday and um, kind of halfway around the house with the faces and soffits. But I'm up in this wee roof at the minute, and um, uh, if you can see in the background now, the soffit here is all undercoated in a charcoal grey. And I'm on this side now. And um, then you have these wee, wee borders here. You know, um, they're they're all getting done as well. They're all done in gloss. They're all done in uh, cream gloss. I think it's magnolia. So they they they've all been had a light sand. They're ready for just a white undercoat and then a coat of uh, cream gloss. Um, so I'll just show you exactly what what we're doing here at the minute. Uh, there we go. So there's my wee brush up on this wee roof here. So as you can see there, you know, if it all scraped down, uh, I'm just doing a soffit here at the minute. And uh, there you go. And these wee borders here, you know, they just need a wee, uh, these here, you see, uh, just need a wee undercoat. But when I'm on the ground, I'll show you exactly what it's like when, when we're finished. So you can see what we're like. So where's my ladder there? I have to climb onto that ladder. And there's the roof that I'm on, you know. Honestly, look, there's really very little room in this wee roof to work, so you do need to be careful. There's my ladder, it's tied safely, secure onto the, the gunner there. But again, if you're ever using a ladder, and especially if you're on your own, make sure, you know, uh, you do secure the ladder and tie it down so there's no movement at all, you know, especially climbing on and off the, uh, onto the roof, you know. And uh, as you can see down here, a couple of nice houses around this area. There's my fan sitting outside. Needs a bit of a wash, as you can see, but, um, you know, it's a bit of a head up here, but, you know, whenever you use the head, you just take your time, be careful, you know. As you can see, it is a lovely day out there, isn't it? 
pity we can't do much in it at the minute, the way things are. You know. But anyway, I'm going to finish this up to the peak up there, as you can see. As you can see, I'll get the other side done. So I'm bringing this side down here. I'm going to finish that. Then you have the facey board here. As you can see, it's just all cleaned down, scraped, sanded, ready for another cut. And uh, really, uh, you know, to be honest with you, uh, it would be ideal to have a cherry picker here. Normally I would, but it, it, there's not a lot of work on this pig. And I, I feel secure enough up here in this wee roof, you know. Just only just take my time, you know. And say the ladder, they're getting on off a ladder, just need to be careful. But apart from that, so I'll do, um, what I'll do is I'll do a few more videos on this outside job as I'm on it uh, over the next couple of weeks and uh, show you the progress on it. Uh, so if you say don't know anything about exterior work, um, preparation, what paint to use, anything like that, um, sure, send me a message. Thanks, Knight, for watching. Bye.